number 26. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, we wrote down, we wrote down those properties of log or properties of logs, right? So when we wrote down those properties of logarithms, we had um, one thing. First of all, this just goes back to basics of substitution. If they say g of x equals log base b of x, and they say x equals b to the negative third, then we have g of x equals log base b of b to the x, or b to the negative 3. Yeah? So just x equals, so you plug in what x equals, right? Now we need to figure out what does that equal, though. So um, I can go to my, I can, I'll show you how to use the formula from here. But another way I'd like to do it is forget g of x. Let's use y. You can use g of x, but I'm going to convert it to the y because just like when we found inverses of functions or of inverses of functions, we like to use our mathematics with y instead of the f of x or g of x, just because it's a little bit easier notation. So, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, if I have an equation that looks like this, I can always convert it to exponential form, right? If I have a logarithmic equation. I can rewrite it as an exponential <coughs> equation, right? So therefore, by converting this, I have b to the y equals b to the negative 3. If I have the same base with different exponents, what do those exponents have to be? The exact same, right? You can't say, if I say 2 to the x equals 2 to the fourth, what does x have to equal? 4. If I have b to the 